this video tutorial will cover MapLook for Excel from Universal Technical Systems. MapLook for Excel can be used to format equations in Excel. This can be useful for report writing and auditing of spreadsheets, as well as for providing illustrations for your reports. To launch MathLook for Excel, click on the icon in the add-ins area of Excel. The MathLook form appears and the equations in the spreadsheet are shown sequentially. As you click on any equation, it shows it here in the MathLook area. You see that the numerators, denominators uh, are shown. The, uh, parentheses can be verified that they're in the correct location. More sophisticated formulas with exponents and things become a little clearer. There's also a depth feature. Any of the variables, any of the cells in a equation may have other formulas associated with them. And when you go deeper, the formula is expanded in terms of all the related cells. If in turn one of those cells has a formula, you can go deeper again. So this is a way of expressing an equation in terms of all of the related cells. It's simple to right-click copy to clipboard, and then paste to put the formula into the spreadsheet. You can have any number of formulas there. These are just pictures, illustrations, if you will, within your spreadsheet. Just delete it. I'm going to show another feature now, naming cells. If we go to the naming cells tab. Initially, it shows only cells with formulas. You can expand that if you need to, to show all the cells that have any entries. In this case, I'm going to add cell names to some of the cells in the formulas. For example, uh, cell B6, I'll give it a name of old mat. Cell B9 we'll call that one new mat. Cell B10 new rate Cell B12, tax. B13, T, finally B16, cash out. And the last one, B19, cash in. And you could name all of your cells in this way. This provides a nice grid for uh, summarizing the cells. Once you have uh, names in there, if you go back to the MathLook tab, we can see that any particular formula in here is now shown in terms of those names. If 
we copy that to clipboard, paste it, and I'll see that the formula is an illustration within the spreadsheet. You can do that for as many of these as you need. That ends this tutorial session on MathLookBoard Excel.